Professor Nzilio from Italy, Dr. Mazhar, Distinguished National Professor, Dr. Mirula, our invited guests from different institutions, faculty and students, etc. To start with a brief overview of the University of Haripur. This university started as a campus of Hazara University back in 2008 and it used to be an abundant place, an abundant factory of frozen and turpentine with big halls, storage halls and that's where we started our journey from 250 students and four departments. In 2012, it was given the status of an independent university and uh, it's from there that we started our academic journey. Currently, the university has two faculties, Faculty of Basic and Applied Sciences with 13 departments and Faculty of Social and Administ Administrative Sciences with five departments. So there are a total of 18 departments and uh, we have a strength of almost 3,300 students currently enrolled with the University of Haripur. And we have uh, more than 50 academic programs, including bachelor's programs, master's program, MPhil and MS programs, and then PhD programs. We started, there was no building, we started with the building, and then we started strengthening our academic programs trying to focus on the quality and one of the things that uh, we are focusing on is how we can we improve our academic quality and for that we have a dynamic quality enhancement cell here which tries to implement the policies and regulations of HEC and HEC internal monitors the QECs program so QECs indirectly are an indicator of how the university quality is being implemented. And then recently we got a W category, an 85% score, an 85 on a scale of 100, and we were awarded a W category, indicating that we are on the right track of improving the quality, academic quality of this institution. We are in, we are in, in an area, this is a suburban area um, where most of the people do not have our well off economically. So University of Haribo, although we do not have our, our tuition fees are not very significant, but still we try to offer scholarships to the students and almost 25%, 25% of the students and old students get some form of scholarship at our university. We try to facilitate them so that uh, uh, lack of financial resources does not deny our youngsters from education. Other than academic programs, one of the characteristics of this university is that uh, uh, we have a regular series of workshops, training programs, going seminars going on in this university and uh, we have conducted hundreds of such training programs which provide exposure to our students other than the curricula that they are being taught so they and all the their different societies which organize so the societies get an experience of organizing these events and our students get a regular exposure to all these activities uh, other than the, this program, we have started a skill development program also. So our, our students do not just have a degree, but they have the appropriate skills that are needed to get them employed. And one of these programs is with the cooperation of the KPI Tech, with the provincial department, that we have started 
training skills in, in the field of IT, where we have done several batches. And it's a, I feel pleasure in, in saying that the students who got these skills, we have a data that more than 95% of those students got employed. So we have a regular that series where we are providing, trying to provide the, employ, the skills that are needed for our graduates to get employed. Uh, when we are talking about the IT, IT is a one of the, it's, it's a, almost a one fourth of our enrolled students are in, in the Department of IT where we are offering degrees in software engineering and computer sciences. And it's one of the most successful programs here. Uh, there was a program by Huawei uh, for establishing their Academy of Network. And uh, almost 137 institutions, higher education institutions in Pakistan applied for that. And University of Haripur was one of 11 universities that was selected throughout the Pakistan for establishment of HANA lab in, 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 in this university. And uh, we are second was only uh, at, um, the, there are only two universities in KP, uh, one in Topi and other uh, University of Haripur who were, who were selected for the establishment of this HANA lab. That uh, is, is a big honor for University of Haripur. And we have already started training our, our IT students here in, in this academy. Other than the academics, uh, we are trying to build our research programs, our faculty, other than teaching, they are also they, they are writing proposals and getting funding. Uh, so, the, so far we, we submitted 140 projects and uh, currently we have 25 projects uh, worth 70 million that are undergoing, that are on. We, we have started working on this, trying to establish uh, the research work and our labs. Uh, we, are, we are young yet, but still the 25 research projects running in this university uh, so far. Our faculty try, we, we, we encourage our faculty to participate in the international events, international conferences, where they keep on participating in all that event to get that exposure. And uh, currently, uh, last year, we had around 200 uh, publications by our faculty and, and, and students and trying to establish that, that research culture. Other than uh, the, the research, the things that have come out, we have uh, applied for the, some of the patents, and there are four patents that have been filed for, uh, from University of Haripur, and they are in process. Uh, we have linkages uh, with the rest of the country and international linkages. So far, so far we have uh, uh, 35 MOUs signed with different uh, institutions uh, both inside the country and outside the country. University of Haripur is, a, uh, is one of the few public sector universities in, in this, uh, this province that has uh, implemented an ERP system where all of its business components are being automated. We have almost installed that starting from, from the admissions up to exam and award of degree. And uh, all that is being now done online through our automated system, the ERP system that has been developed here and that is being implemented. Other than uh, these activities, we are trying to get involved with the community development also. You know, is trying to build up linkages with the community and uh, we offer our expertise for the capacity building of the local departments for the, for the institutions around us and there are always trainings where we try to build the capacity of all the institutions around us. That's one of the activities that uh, uh, we, we are performing also. University of Haripur has also, is also trying to build a culture of entrepreneurship here. We have established business incubation center it has recently been established here with uh, we have uh, for now we have a space for 10 uh, uh, 10 people here but uh, so far uh, we have been having 25 setups of which seven have already graduated and uh, 
we just started but uh, it provided jobs to like 150 to 200 people and uh, with a revenue on is, is 2 million so we are working in that field also where we can appreciate we can develop a culture of entrepreneurship amongst our our students who can and we, we provide them with a startup so that they can go out and be an, a, a successful entrepreneur uh, we have uh, also we, 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 we are one of the few universities that uh, regarding this uh, entrepreneurship uh, activity we has uh, we have an approved policy of uh, business incubation and IP rights and uh, we are working on that direction also so overall other than the, the academics we are trying to focus on on research on community participation on uh, the culture of entrepreneurship we just took off and uh, we are on the way and hopefully we'll make uh, a, our deserved space in, in the educational community very soon now coming to uh, this event today there's no doubt that uh, nanoscience and technology is a, is a one of the most amazing sciences uh, of, of the current time uh, that has that have made a tremendous breakthrough uh, for one reason that it has applications in almost every field uh, in, in agriculture in biology and in, in, in engineering and in medicine and uh, the way it, it is it is expanding we can expect that the future decades would be dominated by by this research by, by the nanoscience and technology and especially the the most serious challenges that we are facing globally now including environment environmental pollution and shortage of energy these are the two